Hello, welcome. Um, thanks, everyone, for taking the time to join us today. Uh, and for those of you watching the recording post match, um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Uh, so, my name is James. I'm tasked as product manager uh, for Australasia and North America. And so, I'm just talking to you here from my home in Melbourne. Um, the purpose of today is to talk about the beautiful new hand sitting on the screen in front of you. Uh, this is our brand new Tasker CX hand, um, the new addition to the Tasker family. Um, so, this hand is going to be the topic of the conversation today, uh, but we're also going to talk to you about a few other things. Um, there might be a few new people on the call, so we'll give a wee background about Tasker company itself. Um, of course, we'll also talk about the main features that are across the board and all the product range, uh, and then we'll also dive into the CX at the end. So this talk should be roughly 20 minutes or so. Um, which should give us some time for Q&A at the end. So uh, if you do have some questions, feel free to just pop them in the chat. Uh, we'll address them at the end of the presentation. Um, Post-presentation, we're also going to send out um, some links and some contact details. So if you've got any other questions that pop up at a later date, don't stress if you don't get them today. Um, we can talk with you later too. So um, yeah, we're here to help. So yeah, let's get started. Um, as I said, I just want to start by giving a wee background about Tasker uh, and our history. So this guy here, this is Matt Jury. Matt Jury is our founder and the inventor of the hand. Uh, so his background, um, he actually began the Tasker project after breaking both of his arms in a mountain biking accident. And he got that, um, he realized what he, when that happened, uh, the challenges of not being able to use both arms. And so even though that was just a temporary setback for him, uh, it did inspire him to make a difference uh, to the limb loss community and started them on that journey that led us to where we are today. Um, a little bit more about that background story too, is Matt had some good fortune in that he started the Tasker project in the early 2010s, back when some other multi-articulating hands were first coming to the market. Uh, now, the reason that's important is because he could learn from what the other hands did and didn't have. Um, and the main things that he realized were that if he could make a multi-articulating hand that was both robust and waterproof, that didn't have some of those fragility issues of other hands, he could make a real difference uh, to the limb loss community. So that was the background. Um, that's when he dove into the Tasker project. And that's how a few years later, the first truly robust waterproof hand was born. Uh, so Tasker itself, the hand launched, the very first hand launched in 2018. Uh, and since then, we've helped a huge number of people around the world. Uh, there's just a few of them here on the screen, um, but look, there are hundreds of more, um, and we've heard so much good feedback about the product. Uh, we really enjoy hearing feedback from both users and prosthetists, whether that story is about helping people get back to work, getting back to hobbies, or even just making life easier around the house. We do love hearing these stories, and we love hearing this feedback. So if you do have any of your own, um, feel free to share with us, because we do love hearing them. Where we are today, uh, so this is us. Um, I'm talking to you from the Australian office in Melbourne. Uh, there's also a head office in Christchurch. That's where our design and manufacturing takes place. We also have a European office uh, based out of Munich. The hand is available in a number of other countries as well. Uh, so we do have distributors around the rest of the world, uh, including Flower in North America um, and some others through Europe. So um, for the Australians and Kiwis on the call, Head office is conveniently located in your backyard. Um, all of our servicing and repairs happen for the Australasian market from our Christchurch office, alongside where design and manufacturing takes place. Uh, for the international guests, of course, um, speedy service is key. So we do have repair centers located close to you. Uh, for the Europeans, that's the European office in Munich. And for our North American buddies, uh, that's our friends in Falao. So um, introducing the CX hand. So just, I want to give a little overview about where that sits in relation to the rest of our products. So on the right there is our Gen 2 medium and large. Uh, those have been with us for a bit of time. Uh, CX there on the left, that's our brand new product. The first thing you'll probably notice is that it is much smaller than the other hands. Uh, so it's fantastic to be able to bring out a small size to the range. Um, but another thing too, if you look at the numbers below there, it's also much, much lighter. Um, so a lot of technology has gone into redesigning these hands. Um, so it's more than just a small size of the Gen 2. Uh, new features are involved as well, but also that light, um, the new technologies allowed us to make it more lightweight. So it's 20 to 30% lighter than the Gen 2, which is a huge 
uh, improvement. So I just want to talk a little bit about what's common between all of our products. So these are our three key pillars. So robustness, waterproofness, and easy. Um, everybody would like a robust, reliable prosthesis that lets them do a wide range of activities so they can get back to not being limited in their daily life. That was the goal of Tasker. That was Matt's vision, uh, and that's what we've created. So robustness is a key part of all of our products. Um, you can withstand some knocks, use the hand in a wide range of scenarios, um, but it also just gives you that confidence and reliability that you're not going to accidentally break your hand and have to keep on sending it back for service. So robustness is one of our key pillars. Waterproofing, of course, is another important one. Every one of our hands is IP67 waterproofing, um, and I'll talk about a little bit more, a little bit more about that later. But just like robustness, that means you can use the hand for a wide range of activities without worrying about damaging it. At the end of the day, though, if you've got that robust waterproof hand that lets you open the door to a range of activities, but the hand isn't easy to use, or you can't use it in the office, around home, uh, in the kitchen, or out socialising, whatever it is you do in your life that you need to get back to. Um, if you don't have a hand that's easy to use, it's a problem. So of course, we've got a bunch of features in there that make the hand easy to use as well. So diving into the specifics. Robustness. Um, got This is our brand new CX in front of us. Um, one of the key features across all the hands is that shock proofing. So you, if I just squish those fingers a little bit, you might be able to see that they're given and flexing. That's because we've got shock proofing all through the finger joints, thumb joint, and the wrist joint as well. That means that when you do knock it around, you bash it up against stuff, um, within reason, of course, uh, it will take those knocks and um, not break like other hands might. Massive difference for us. Uh, another key feature in there is our resettable knuckle release. So if I push down on those fingers, for instance, you get it caught on something, press too hard on them, um, it goes in both ways as well, so they extend out. You can see those hands have slipped out of position. All I need to do is turn the hand off. I'll turn it back on again. And you can just see those fingers recalibrate, reposition. The hand doesn't need to go back for a pair. It's just good to keep on using. So another really key feature that helps that robustness. Um, and as we mentioned, it just lets you get back to a wide range of activities uh, with that confidence and peace of mind. Waterproofing. Uh, now, this is another major feature. Uh, the hydrosteel technology in all of our hands uh, means that all the hands are IP67 rated. That means fully submergible, fully waterproof. Um, and also what's really key to that is waterproofing without a glove. You don't need a protective cover or anything like that. The hands are inherently waterproof. That again means that you can get to do a wide range of activities, washing dishes, cleaning the car, all that sort of stuff. But what I think one of the most important things is, is being able to keep that hand hygienic, easy to wash with soap and water. But what's also really cool, some of the feedback we get, is the ability to wash properly the back of your sound side. So if you're a unilateral patient, just being able to properly wash both hands um, is a massive improvement. So waterproofing, one of our foundations. Uh, as of a couple of years ago, we had an update to the wrist. So our quick disconnect models, um, in fact, all of our models, are available to be waterproofing through the wrist. So it depends on your first opening of the socket where that waterproofing ends. Um, so yeah, great improvement that we've got there. Some more features that are common with every hand. Uh, again, easiness. So every one of our hands has an intuitive button panel on the back. It's a great way to change different grips. So for instance, I'm just gonna cycle through a few different grips at a press of a button and again, Hold that down, I've got another one. So pointers, you can rain, you can access a wide range of different grips. And what's really good is that if you've got a patient who's new to myelectrics, especially, struggle with control, it's hard to change grips using double pulse co-contract or any form of grip triggers. Um, those buttons just make it really quick, easy, and also reliable. You always know what you're getting when you press a button. Um, so that's a feature that people really like, um, all the way from new users through to experienced users as well. When I talked before about the flexion in those fingers, uh, that also gives us really nice feature. Um, demonstrate our flexi tool grip and a knife. I'm just gonna tuck that knife in there in behind the thumb between the fingers. And now when I close that down, 
you can see that that's wedged in. That knife is wedged in really securely between those fingers, and that gives me a really, really tight grip. I can cut through steaks or anything that's got a lot of resistance. Um, I'm trying to think of a vegetarian alternative for a steak. So certainly it's hard to cut. So if you've got any ideas, please feel free to let me know. But anyway, the point is that you've got a really tight grip and you can really dig into stuff. Um, not just knives, of course, that's also good for other cutlery too. Things like forks. Also, if that angle doesn't work for you, you can flick it between different fingers as well. Um, so a range of different angles, and this is something that OTs absolutely love. You'll also notice too, when I close that hand down, those fingers wrap around completely, so I can even hold things really securely in this position. Confident, reliable gripping, that's what it's all about. Um, and that feature, that full finger close and those um, that finger splay where you can wedge between fingers is, um, is a game changer when it comes to that. Flexion wrist, there's a flexion wrist built into every model. So for instance, again, if I'm going to use that example for a fork, um, the way I'm sitting, the table height, whatever it is, might mean that that's a difficult angle to use. So I'm just going to adjust the flexion of the hand and reposition it. Um, and that's going to make it easier to use. So I won't go into all the other applications where flexion wrists are fantastic. Um, everybody loves to use them, um, especially they're really good for long people with long residual limbs. So we've got that in our low profile model too. It's not a compromise you have to make. Every hand comes with that inbuilt flexion wrist. Uh, and the last one too, the point I'll get to um, is that we've got our MyTasker app that's available both mobile, tablet, and desktop. So you can configure the hand, both the patient and yourself, um, configure the hand with a range of different um, range of different platforms. So that's been really nice. Obviously, multi-articulating hand means that there's a range of grips available. We do have 23 grips available, and that's all the ones there, ranging from core grips on the left there through to a bunch of different options. Uh, and we even have customizable grips. So those five on the right there, those are ones that yourself as a prosthetist or a patient can modify. Um, so huge amounts of range and possibility there. To change the grips, as we said before, you've got your button panels, so you can access a bunch of grips using the buttons. You can also use EMG grip triggers, co-contract, double pulse, long holds, all those sort of grip changes. And we're also compatible with a range of rec pattern recognition systems. So for uh, people in Australia here, um, the COAPT is a really good combination with the Tasker. Wrist options, um, both the CX and the Gen 2 all have a different range. Um, they've got quick disconnect and low profile wrists. On the left there, the images there are the Gen 2. Uh, the one on the right there is the CX. Uh, the top ones there, the low profile, those are really good for people with a long residual limb. Wrist disartix, for instance, where you're battling for every millimeter. Um, in that case, we suggest using a low profile wrist and just get that extra, um, reduce the build height of the hand. Uh, some key features in that low profile wrist, um, things to remember are that it's not removable by the patient, only the prosthetist has the ability and tools to do that. Um, it is also an IP67 waterproof connection, plus there's also rotation, 90 degrees in our Gen 2 and up to 300 degrees in the CX. Quick disconnect, um, this is the more common one, um, more common with people uh, with shorter limbs. Um, that's one that you can swap in and out between different hands, um, and you can also uh, remove and attach them. What's really cool is we bought out our Generation 2 wrist recently. If I just twist that hand multiple times, it's not popping off. Um, the traditional disconnection method isn't happening. Um, that means it's not just going to pop off at random times. But it's use two buttons, quick twist, and the hand pops off. That means that the disconnection, reconnection is really reliable, really consistent, um, and just reduces that risk of the hand popping off at any time. Again, too, um, as I said before, that wrist connection can be made waterproof. Uh, I won't go into too much detail about that for this short presentation, but if you do have any questions on that, uh, reach out and get in touch with us afterwards. Onto the CX hand. So this is again, as I say, the brand new hand we've got. I'm really excited to talk about this one. It's a, currently available in the small seven and a quarter size. Um, two different color options, black and sand. 
And as we said before, you've got choice of either the quick disconnect or the low profile rest. One of my favorite features about it is the new motors. So as I said before, we've done a real upgrade to the whole task at hand platform with that CX um, and use brand new motor technology. One thing, um, if I had another hand with me to compare it to, you'd see that the size of that knuckle is significantly smaller than other models. Um, but normally what happens, if you're smaller and lighter, you compromise speed and strength. But that's one thing that's been really good about these new motors is not only is the hand smaller, lighter, but the grip speed is also faster and the grip strength is stronger. So the new motors in there are absolutely fantastic. Um, I can just sort of demonstrate some of the improved movement here. Um, it's fast, it's slick, it's smooth, uh, but you really want to see that in person. So um, again, we'll talk later about getting in touch for demos and um, see the hands in person. But yeah, something you really want to see in person. It's fantastic. Another key advancement with this is we've put a lot of effort into the aesthetics of the hand. Uh, so if you can just see it, it's got a lot more contouring. Um, it's made a lot more anatomically correct. So you've got natural curves, natural arches. Um, although it still obviously has the robotic look, um, people are really loving the shape of it. Just the anatomical shape um, makes people feel a lot more comfortable. It's just been really, really popular and a massive part of our feedback. Uh, there's also been some improvements with the buttons. Um, so you can see that all those buttons I was demonstrating, they're now hidden behind the boot. A lot of effort's gone into getting rid of things like screws and things like that. So really nice, sleek finish. Um, yeah, the aesthetics of the sound are fantastic. Another major feature uh, and advancement with the hand is our capacitive touch. So all the hands are now, sorry, not all the hands, the CX hand is now touchscreen compatible. One of the differences we went for, instead of it being a single point on the finger that's hard to access, it's the entire grip pad. I'm not sure how easy it is to see, but that grip pad wraps around the full fingertip. Not only is it the index finger, but it's also in all of the fingers and the thumb. When you're using a prosthesis, you're not as dexterous as a sound side. So if you're swiping or scrolling, it might be difficult to just access and line up that index finger perfectly. So it's really good. It might be easier just to touch it with your thumb or scroll with your pinky finger. Um, that's the feedback we got from our field trials and um, people loving that new feature. So um, yeah, the whole fingertip and every one of the fingers are now touchscreen compatible. Customization, uh, again, we also had a lot of feedback from our previous products that people wanted to customize and change faceplates. So we've got a real range of different faceplates. Uh, there's about five different models at the moment, um, potential to bring out more if they really, uh, they really are popular. Um, so you can change up the look of the hand depending on your mood. Hey, today I might be wearing something that goes with um, one color, different color another day. So um, yeah, you can modify that and change that. So um, users can swap this themselves, of course. So um, great new advancement. All right, and finish up talking a little bit about our support. So we mentioned before briefly the MyTasker app. Again, that's available um, on both mobile, tablet, Windows. There's something else about to say that, that's right. Um, clinicians and users also use the same app. So if you are a clinician, uh, make sure that we know about you, you're in our system, either by signing up to the TLA or when you do log into the app, you can register yourself as a clinician. Um, we can approve you, get you into the system. That means that when you do log yourself into one of the apps, uh, you will have access to the clinician features. So um, yeah, let us know about that or jump onto the TLA, we'll get you into the system. Um, so again, the app is used to configure the hand, um, change a bunch of settings, customize it to your patient, um, or patients can customize it to how they want it to be. Uh, it's also got a few things in there too, like built-in games. So you can practice signal separation and work on that sort of stuff. Um, Definitely worth an explore. There's a bunch of different things on there. Our Learning Academy. Um, I normally say all the stuff we talked about today, but again, it's a really brief presentation. Everything we talk about in our certification training is on our Learning Academy. So you can jump the gun, um, jump on there, do some self-paced training. Um, again, as I said, all the modules that we normally work through with our certification training, we've got broken up into little bite-sized accessible chunks through our Learning Academy. 
a bunch of instructional videos and also revision tools too. So it's a really nice platform for, hey, it's the first time you fit a, you fitted a hand a year or two ago and you haven't seen your patient in a very long time. Hopefully it's less. Um, but if you need a bit of a refresher, you can jump on there and uh, work through some modules and get yourself back up to speed. Common question, warranty and servicing. All our hands come with a two-year standard warranty. That's also extendable up to five years total. So three additional years can be purchased to bring it up to five. With each year of warranty, you get a year, an annual service. Um, when we do have that service, we like to send out loaner hands as well. I've got them based here in Melbourne. So um, for the Australian customers, if you do have a, um, if you are going to send a hand back for service, get in touch and we'll arrange to get a loaner on your patient in the meantime. Uh, what we do in the service is we'll replace a bunch of wear and tear type parts, fingertips, proximal grips, cover plates, all sorts of stuff. Um, you also get a new battery. We encourage that to be replaced every time with every service. Um, and also, obviously, with the service, we do a bunch of functional testing, um, and we also update the software if need be. So thanks, everyone, for your time. Um, look, if you do want to get in touch and you've got someone interested in trialing the hand, um, reach out. We can organize a demo for you. A bunch more information at our website. Just go to taskaprosthetics.com. Of course, you can also get to the Learning Academy through that as well. And also, um, jump on our channels like Instagram, YouTube. Uh, we've got a bunch of videos. Instagram, we also have people sharing um, stories about their hand, and it's really good just to hear that sort of stuff from users directly. So look, have an explore of our social channels, and there's plenty of stuff on there that's interesting to look at. Thanks, everyone.